are wrapping the last day of the D-Sport Tokyo Auto Salon Tour and I'm standing here with a man that I think is Steve. If you are Steve, can you tell everyone how your experience was with this tour so far? Uh, the tour is amazing. I, I highly recommend everybody come out and do this. Now know. let's talk a little bit about my favorite part of the tour, the D-Sport Tuner Challenge. Was it just everything you thought it would be? I mean, if you've never been in a drift car, you're missing out. It's the most epic thing you can ever do. This is the first time I see Jeff in a hat because he's got helmet hair. Jeff, what are we doing right now? Um, this was my first time drifting. Riding along with professionals is amazing. It, the control they have over the cars, the sound of the motor, the acceleration, it, when it comes together, it, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. Drifting out here on the track, getting a ride along, it was phenomenal. Just unbelievable. We just did the drift ride alongs and I was a little iffy on it, so they forced me to go. <laughs> and I am so glad I did. Oh, this was amazing. Uh, these drifters are definitely world class. They're great. Their cars are great. Um, their professionalism was amazing. Their, their skills are great. Glad I was able to coerce my girlfriend into getting one of the cars by telling her it's not so fast. He'll drive slow. She looked like, you know, a kid that just got done with his first roller coaster <laughs> ride when she got <laughs> done. <laughs> We have to talk about the Mario cars. How is that going over the Rainbow Bridge in a tiny little car? Oh, I mean, it's amazing. You know, you're going like 55 miles an hour, you know, Rainbow Bridge. It's such a great feeling. The Mario carts were great. It definitely gave you a sense of uh, danger, riding along Tokyo streets next to semi-trucks, cement mixers, and you're this high off the ground. <laughs> so it's a good time. Mario Kart is above your expectations. It is. You're doing like 60 some mile an hour out there on the, the streets and the freeway and it is fun. Cool. So we started the tour with a little uh, a tour of the Tomei powered and we did a lot of the up garage and stuff like that. Then the next day was the Tokyo Auto Salon tour. Can you tell everyone how that was and what, what kind of things did you get out of it? The shops that we visited were like awesome. Tokyo Auto Salon is awesome. It's a great tour. Like the show is great. It's phenomenal. Some of my favorite things were obviously the Tokyo Auto Salon, the amount of cars, um, the vendors, just everything about it, the intensity of it. And what is your favorite thing on the whole tour? So much is uh, good. Um, I learned a new phrase, um, moi moi kin. For those that know, good times. Um, <laughs> And for those that don't know, you're going to have to come and see for yourself. <laughs> I've been on the trip maybe about five or six times. Uh, each time just gets better. Every tour changes, so I respect that. And I always try to come back each year just to make sure that no matter what, there's going to be something new, and I don't want to miss it. I will see you guys next year. You can count on that. There's a lot of things going on. It's overwhelming, but I'm glad I'm with you guys. Um, this whole tour group has become basically a family. And um, yeah, I'm glad I came out here and joined you all. It is Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Hopefully we'll see you next year. And at home, we'll see you at the 2020 D-Sport Tokyo Auto Salon Tour. <laughs> 2019 D-Sport Tokyo Auto Salon Tour. We're here with Tien and Corey. I might have butchered that name, <laughs> but. So here we are, last night of the tour. What was your favorite part? Um, Tokyo Auto Salon for sure. Uh, Mari Kart, um, the Mega Gundam. Are these, are these your notes? Yep, they are my notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forgetful. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is he looking down at? What is going on here? <laughs> you know, we're supposed to do this before we start drinking, guys. This is, are you gonna be here next year? Yes. Yes, ladies, he will be here next year. 2020. 2020. Olympics. Yeah, that doesn't affect our tour at all, though. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 <laughs> we're not going to finish. We just put this in the end, the bloopers yeah. or something. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> Quick. I'm going I'm I'm to put, put you on blast, so you're ready, right? OK, all right. All right, okay. here we go. Here we go. We'll put it on blast. All right, broken side. Right. Glasses. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Go for it. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I just yeah. forgot what I was going to yeah. say. <laughs> okay, teenage ladies out there, you may remember this man here, Ryan Hartwig from the famous Twilight series. <laughs> a star of the Twilight series, of course. And joining us on the tour this year, Ryan, tell us about your experience. Uh, it was great. Um... <laughs> 
Can we swear? Can we swear? Should I start? You want me yes, to start? Yes, go ahead, okay. Gad. <laughs> Are you going to ask me my, what my favorite part was? Or yeah, just, yeah, 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 I should yeah. do that, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Like, ask me a question, not yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, and I'm joining sorry, me now. Like a married couple, can you put your <laughs> 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 well, let's just explain something. We've had a little bit of weird incidents on this uh, trip, uh, things that don't usually happen. Normally, we don't get anybody on our tour um, to be accosted by Japanese men. Um, and it's not because we just have a lot of, of men on the tour, more men than women, because this year it was actually one of our men on the tour, one of our staff, Kareem Gurgis, which is actually Egyptian for man magnet. And, and basically he was hugged multiple times on this trip. And we want to explain why. Kareem, can you come on camera here? So we, we, we didn't know why at first, you know, why would Japanese men want to come up to him and hug him? <laughs> what makes him huggable? I mean, he's not that huggable. If he, he's, you know, I mean, he's got that smile and stuff, but he's still kind of hairy and stuff. You know, I wouldn't want to hug him. But the reason being, we figured it out. And if we could probably get a graphic thrown up here, you know, do some nice computer graphic here of Anpanman. So <laughs> if you look here, he has the same exact head shape. We've got the cheeks going here, the nose, everything, and the eyebrow. So next year, we're going to actually do him up a little bit better, get those eyebrows groomed in. And I mean, we might be able to get in a lot of places in Japan for free, thanks to Kareem. So stay tuned to the 2020 tour. It's going to be even better. <laughs>